Hello, this is um, Designs by Heart. I do several crafts throughout the year and I'm constantly either working in my craft room or my sewing room. And today I'm in my sewing room. Uh, I've got my Singer sewing machine out and I'm ready to go. Uh, I've really enjoyed this sewing machine. It has been, it, it was the 70th anniversary sewing machine. It's a real basic sewing machine, so if you don't know how to sew, I suggest that you just get one of these. But what I got so excited about today is I'm making a pillow, and it's got a cathedral look to it. Um, it's the first time I've done this pillow, so I'm very excited as to how it's turning out. Be back with you shortly to show you what I'm doing on my pillow. As you see right here, I have gotten several pieces of fabric. I've cut each square five inches by five inches. Um, and I'm trying to make this as um, colors that have aquas and corals. And, it, and as you can tell, it's got a little bit of blue in it. But that's going to be my pop-out color. I've used two different ones. I'll show you the other one shortly as I get ready. But I am loving putting this together. And right now, I have gotten to the point that I'm ready to sew around these pieces as you turn up these corners and it makes like a pocket for your top piece. And I'm going to sew those and I'll be back with you shortly. Thank you. Here we go got it flipped hit and so right now if you look at this beautiful pillow what I'm working on this is a square can I hope you can see it really well I'm new at this YouTube thing but I am just loving the colors I decided I wanted something that had aquas and corals in it with a little bit of blue and a little bit of the um, green color so you can tell by this that the pop-out color in the center is going to be kind of a, a royal navy blue but what i'm getting ready to do right now i've done these squares and sewn them together and i'll show you how to do that later but right now i'm going to finish this off with this little pocket right here that i'm going to sew around the edges and i'll be back with you shortly because we're going to finish off our pillow something that i wanted to show you very quickly is this new baby that i bought today oh my goodness i'm in love Anyway, it's a small little travel iron, and uh, I think it's called Steam Fresh. As you can see, it's small for your hand. And what I've done since I'm in my sewing room, I have two rooms that I use. Half of one of the rooms is sewing, and the other half's for my guests. And I also have a craft room where I do cards and several other things. Um, I've got three little granddaughters, so I'm always having someone over. So anyway, this little iron, like I said, I've got, you're just going to laugh about this. I didn't want to pull out my large ironing board, so I got just my wooden cutting board. It's very small, and I just have gotten an old pillowcase over it that I use to iron shorts and things for my granddaughters. So it's real simple, real easy. When you're doing this um, cathedral um, pillow that, that I'm putting together, it just worked out like a charm because I didn't have to pull out all that large stuff. This is um, what I wanted to show you. I have just finished off the edges of my cathedral pillow that I'm starting to put together. I've got one more square to do. This is a four square pillow that I'm putting together. But I wanted you to see the first one I did that I was learning on was not as... Um, I went around the edges when I was sewing and tried to capture all of the edges, but I think it looked crisper and better on these two that I did each edge individually by themselves. And shortly, I'm going to sew this together once I finish my last square. And this will be my backing piece that has to be ironed with that cute little iron that I just bought myself today. I very seldom... Uh, get myself a treat, but that was a real treat. Better than chocolate, believe it or not. Be back shortly. Okay, now that I've finished my last square, you can get a better idea of how this looks. Um, and you can see, I think I've decided, I like that center circle. So, I think I'm going to um, line up my pieces like this. It wasn't my initial thought at all, but I think it's kind of cool. I like things a little bit abstract, a little shabby chic, so... 
uh, this is what I'm going to be doing. Anyway, I'm going to sew it all together and I'll be back with you to show you the final project. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. Here is the final top of my pillow. And in just a few minutes, I'm going to sew the bottom piece on and put the batting in and I'll be back to show you that in just a minute. Okay, here is my final project right here. I have just finished sewing it together and I wanted to show you how the back turned out. The back, I made like an envelope pillow where you can actually stuff your um, foam in here, your stuffing for your pillow insert. And once you do that, uh, if it gets dirty or whatever, you, you can take it off and change it out. So I'm gonna put that together and I'll be right back in just a second. All right, our pill is finished. Uh, it was a great afternoon project and I really enjoyed doing the cathedral look. Uh, this would be beautiful done in a quilt to match this pillow. Um, I really, really, really think it turned out well for my first time on doing this. There are a few things that you can probably tell that aren't perfect, but hey, isn't that what crafting is all about? I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back and uh, doing some other videos in a couple of days. Thank you and happy crafting from Designs by Heart.